Do you want to know the best way to play Coin Roblox? How do you get as many people as possible on your bus? And what's the best way to get points? Well, you'll find out the answers to all of these questions in this video. Let's get straight on to point one. The first tip is to choose the correct operator to work with. Some of them has very good starter buses. I recommend saving up for some buses in their Wheat Reaver garage, but you can also have some good starter buses in the Go Away Depot as well. Buses don't matter as much. But if you want the game to be more realistic, this is definitely one of the things you should think about before spawning. For example, on the 455, you should use a single decker bus as it goes underneath a few low bridges. And if you're from Croydon, or if you've visited, you will know what bus runs on each route. I do recommend some buses for certain routes in the video, currently in the top right hand corner once, and you can watch that after you finish with this one. So linking in with the two above, let's talk about not wasting your points. Of course, you should choose what bus suits you, but there are definitely a few popular ones that I recommend saving up for. Some examples can include the Enviro 400 EV, Routemaster, and the Enviro 400 MMC. Now, let's have a bit of a driving interlude. It's generally helpful to drive well. I'll talk about what that means in the later points, but why? Well, it can mean that you finish route without having to respawn, and you can make sure that other drivers don't get annoyed with you. Before we get on to talking about how to get some sweet points, let's talk about the basics. First off, use your blinkers. This is essential when turning a corner, coming into and leaving a bus stop, and when changing lanes. Next, drive on the correct side of the road. Now, let's talk about the best way to get some points. The most important thing is to choose the right route. A very long one, but one that's very certain to get you a lot of passengers and points, is the 198. It's a 30 minute route. There's also the 289 and the 455, which are both pretty long routes as well. Next in our how to get point session is to give the passengers the right tickets. It's so simple. If you don't do this though, you won't get any points for these passengers. Another easy thing to do is to just leave the bus stops on time. To clarify, this means leaving when your dashboard says due. Not any earlier and not any later. This doesn't mean to skip stops to make you on time though, as you'll still get more points by stopping at every stop. Next point is to drive in rush hour. This means you'll get extra passengers. Rush hour happens between 8 and 5 p.m. every day, including the weekends. Finally, point 10. If you are over 13, the best way to know what's happening with Croydon is to join the Sentry Discord server, my Discord server, and to like and subscribe to me for some more Croydon content. With that said, we'll finish off my video. As said before, join the Discord and like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.